Houston, we have a problem. can finally talk about this because it's been almost a year since it happened i got heartbroken last year what it to happens Santa. to all of us even me some of us take it better or worse than others but all in all it still hurts when you give a piece of yourself to somebody hey ted how was y'all first heartbreak i think that hard but always like man f it bro i learned my first one i was crying oh my mama i was crying <laughs> hey, first heartbreak was tough. Oh my god. Oh, I ain't gonna lie. I'm not too. I'm not too goddamn live. I'm not trying to go. Like, I'm not gonna try to act too hard to admit, but I'll cry. But, but I ain't crying in front of people. I ain't gonna lie. I played it cool. Boy, I was in my rooms. I was in my room, not one to get out of bed, bro. That heartbreak is tough. Don't be one to eat. Oh my God, don't be one to eat, bro. And they basically take that piece and crumble it up, <coughs> step on it, <laughs> unfold it, and give it back. I cried to my mom. Thanks. You know what's crazy? No. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't cried to nobody, but I got caught. Everybody knew something was wrong with me though. Um, but they didn't know until one day. I was heartbroken for like two, three days. Um, and what I would do is I would leave the house to like, uh, I didn't want nobody to hear me cry. Nobody, I didn't want nobody to see me cry, no nothing. So I was walking downstairs one day and I seen a family member. They was like, yo, what up, Trey? I said, it was good. And I just walked outside. I'm thinking I played it cool. I'm thinking everybody knew everybody, everything. I Cause everybody thought I was good, but I come, I'm, I'm walking. My mama called me. What's wrong with you? And I said, what you mean? She said, your cousin just seen you when she said, it looked like something was wrong with you. So what's wrong with you? And right there, I couldn't hold it no more, boy. I cried like a... I cried. <laughs> I laugh now because I'm over it. But boy, fam, I cried like a baby, boy. Bro, fam, they bro, But women would hurt a heart, boy. So I met this girl. The way I met her was through Instagram, as it had. Let's just say. Nasty cry. Bro, went, who got a live ass cry? There's no such thing as a live cry. Like, bro, everybody, everybody, Loki got a nasty cry, bro. <laughs> you no, know, and I'm talking about like the real cry. Like, you know, you had a couple of tears, it'd be all right. But that that really hurt. Tough. Now I cry like fifty cents. Was that scrolling me? late one night, but not too late. It was like 9, 930, peak hours. And I clicked on the story of this girl who was hey! looking. Yo, mother. <laughs> Eli! Yo! <laughs> Big W! Come on now. That's hard. Scrolling late one night, but not too late. It was like 9, 930, peak hours. And I clicked on the story of this girl who was looking. Eli, like, that's how you watch the stream until feet kicked up. And I slide up with the eyes. Oh, yeah. The eyes let her know you see her. Let me tell you Not what. The eyes is a good go-to when it comes to DM. Good go-to. Not too much, though. Not too much. Just that she grabbed your attention. She replied back. That's all I needed. Mm. I don't know about any of y'all, but if a girl replies to my DM, it gets dangerous. That's all I need is a reply. What's I dangerous? promise. So eventually we exchange numbers and start to get to know each other. Now this is during Christmas. And at the time I worked at Walmart. So while trying to plan a date, 
The stars weren't really aligning. I could just feel her losing interest. Replies mm -hmm. were getting slower. Oh Combos man, yo, these is one of the worst things, bro. When you with a shorty, um, and you just feel the interest like low key slipping. There's nothing you can really do. Oh, bro, it's like damn. Like you start to question, so like damn, should I apply more pressure? Yo, should I've done this? Should I've done that? Honestly, for the most part, it's really nothing that you can do. Honestly, uh, in a lot of times, bro, nothing you can really do. We're getting drier. So I started to conjure a plan. I tell her we should FaceTime. She agrees. Now, when we FaceTimed, I knew what had to be done. I had to set the foundation. I had to hit her with. You say it's worse when the schedule changes Women's in the text. What you mean by the is the sleepy voice, boys. I'm trying to tell you after we FaceTimed, complete 180. She was texting and calling me first. We ended up planning a date during the FaceTime. The sleepy voice. Eli, you be on the phone. Yo, what up? Fake ass voice. Eli, be on the phone like D. Yo, how was your day? <laughs> That's bad. And this wasn't just <laughs> any regular date. We decided on going on a breakfast date. I'm not a morning person. Never will be. If I have to do something earlier than 11 a.m., nothing because it can't happen. I literally cannot function. I got a fake voice. No, I'm telling you, I, I really don't do. I don't do that shit anymore. No but when you younger, you do that shit. I'm not doing that. Sad Valentine's, Faithlin. What the fuck are you doing? Now, a sad birthday is one thing. A sad Valentine's. Why would you wish me that? What I ever did to you? <laughs> what the fuck did I do? <laughs> That's crazy. Oh my god. Hey, chat, that pot was dry as hell, and then when I ate it too, I didn't want to say nothing. Hey, Faithin, when you making another one, gang? In the morning. I don't drink coffee. I don't even really like breakfast food. So if you're asking me why I decided on a breakfast date, because I was horny for new experiences. <laughs> we went on the date and it was a great time. We hey, ate. Okay, breakfast dates is kind of underrated too, bro. A lot of niggas want to go out to dinner and yo, my go-to, I'm gonna take you out to a dinner. I'm gonna be honest. So I'm it's me, I'm niggas. But it's nothing wrong with taking a short out to breakfast because guess what? If y'all vibe with each other during breakfast time, then yo, we we'll, we can see like, yo, what's up? Like, oh, you want to go do something next? We can do something next. Or if y'all not really vibing, guess what? I got my whole day. I can get the fuck up out of this motherfucker, bro. Like, in the wrong breakfast. Shared laughs. The vibes were so good. Neither of us even wanted it to end. We even extended it past our intended time and went to a park where we could park the car and overlook this pond. It felt like a oh, yeah, scene yeah, yeah. That's a spot. straight from a movie, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So much so, we're talking. Yeah. And I just stop and uh -huh. gaze into her eyes. And all I could think about was how much I wanted to kiss her. I move in for the kiss, and she meets me halfway. Okay. Sparks Talk were flying. Me. From here, we went on a Drake couple over more one more tipped one dollar. I traded and you take that one shorty from Katie to breakfast. Yo, you moving crazy. You're moving crazy up in this bitch. What are you talking about? It was nothing but straight vibes with her. We were falling asleep on FaceTime together oh, every yeah. night. We went to the same college. So after class, we would spend time together. Oh, she yeah. even met my family. We were in the talking state. I didn't see any red flags. Probably because I ignored them all. And yeah. I was horny for new experience. Let me tell you what, bro. When you be wanting to talk to a girl for the first time, but we'll be ignoring all kind of shit you shouldn't be ignoring. All kind of shit. But that's our problem, bro. Honestly, us as niggas, bro, let's just submit it. We really easy. But you be honest, man. We really easy. Now, that don't mean I don't have standards. I do have standards. If you doing something that I don't really fuck with, I'm going to be like, hell nah, you on some nut ass shit. But we easy, bro. Like I said, we, yeah, we, 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 
We easy, bro. Y'all learn, bro. Fam, all it takes is your favorite. Speak for yourself, bucko. For y'all niggas is so cow. Fam, all it takes is a baddie to DM y'all niggas if y'all single. And just say just just uh, just the smallest thing that like that she fuck with you. Like shorty, shorty can dive in your DMs. Damn you cute. That's it. That's all you nigga, you nigga, you hooked. You're hooked. You tell me you ain't hooked? Nigga, you nigga, your next message. Damn, you bad too. What's up? Bro, stop acting like y'all not, chat. We locked. <laughs> I'm not that easy shit I am if I'm single. And if you look good, try to dive in my DM for an ass. I'm like, shit, yeah, yeah, you fine too. What's the move? Nigga cap. Bro, niggas is capping. I'm trying to tell you, bro. Fam, a lot of niggas in this chat is lying, bro. It's okay. That's just how we move. I'm not saying y'all go for anything, but bro, niggas is easy. This why your dick about to fall off. Fam. I'm not saying I do nothing with everybody, bro. Now, now you're now you taking it too far. Experiences. During the very first FaceTime call, she told me something that should have told me yeah. that she wasn't ready for a relationship. Oh, yeah. She told me she had just broken up with her ex two months prior. Oh, no. You can't That's too fast. It's too fast. It's too fast. It's too fast. I ain't gonna lie. If a shorty tell me that, like, I'm knowing, me and you can talk, but we not finna go nowhere serious for real. Most likely. Most likely. I'm going to talk to you. I ain't going to cut you off after that. But I'm already, I've already like lowered my expectations on what we are and what we can be possibly. Because two months is too fast. You still got feelings for that man. Even if y'all ended on bad terms, you still mad at him. And if he call you, yeah, nigga, if he call your ass, nigga, you're going to argue with his ass on the phone. If y'all ended on good terms, you still going to talk to that nigga, yada, yada, yada. Fam, show me it's real. Tell me you ain't talked to that nigga for nine months. You ain't talk to nigga for nine months, or he might be at your sister. Drake over Jin one or tipped one dollar. Trey, you saying you giving the thickness up that quick? No, I'm not saying I'm not I'm not saying I'm not saying I'm um I'm going for anything. But let a bad one DM me the right thing. All of a sudden, me and her are on a date. What are we doing? Can't fully heal in two months. I don't care who you are. I don't care what you say. You can't fully you can't, heal you can't from heal heartbreak in two months. in two months. You really can't even place a time on how long the healing okay, process anything takes. Is crazy. No, I'm not. But I ignored it. Me being excited that for once a girl actually had taken interest See, in me. See, Eli, that's, that's me what to I don't do. Big issues that were clear signs that I was headed for imminent danger. At this point, we had already been talking for four months. It was around the point where I was ready to take the next step. It was one day where while hanging out, I asked her, hey, how do you feel about this? Like, I mean, are you ready to take bro, they lying this in the seriously? Chat. Me and you? Well, maybe. Honestly, I got some thinking to do. Okay. So the next two days, her vibe is off. The replies ain't replying. Damn. The calls not calling Damn. like they should. She eventually texts me later that night saying, hey, I just need some time to think. Just like two or three days. It's I'm over. okay, it's but over, I just bro. need this. I give her the time she needs. On the literal third day, she calls me. She tells me that she's not ready for a relationship right now and that she just needs time to herself for a while. I'm God not gonna damn. lie. I'm in a vulnerable <clears throat> place, so I'm begging. Not gonna lie, begging is crazy. Not begging, but oh. I'm pleading. I'm talking about, we could have been so good together. We could have lived this dance. In a talking stage is nuts, Eli. In a relationship, I'm not gonna tell nobody what to do with your girl. Don't be going all sad, but fam, in a relationship, a lot of us go all sad because we are mostly invested in them people. In the talking stage, I'm not gonna beg you to talk to me. I can't, like, well, I'm not gonna plead to like. I'm not gonna act like I'm gonna be like, just super be like, damn, I understand. I'll be like, I'll be like, all right, yo, you ain't ready for that. But like, what that mean? We gotta start talking to something. Like, I'm, I'm gonna ask you what, like how you wanna move forward. I'm not gonna be, Nah, but let's just talk though. It's cool. We can just go back. I'm I'm out. I'm going to ask a couple of questions to see. Sonic how you Fighter move 25 tipped $1. Hello, Trey. 
I do housekeeping for photo shitty Mr. Spotchksps okay I'm done. Walks away with a fat ass. What the fuck do y'all donate? The fuck do y'all donate, bro? What is your problem? Taste me. But to no event. No, it's not happening. She needed that time and left with my heart in her bag. After that, I wasn't in the right headspace for oh, a no, minute. Oh no, I'm done. I put all my time into my channel. I'm not gonna lie. I did try to ease the pain with other women <laughs> or a different woman. Hey, let me tell you what, one thing with some niggas, I won't say all of us now. That's why I won't say all of us too. But one Milk thing that a nigga might do. Dollar, let the right one DM me and I damn near what want her to sit on my face. Sorry him like this. I mean, I understand where you're coming from, but damn, my brother, slow down. Slow down. I wonder, like, what the fuck happened to my old alerts? Like, they're not even in my shit no more. But you keeping it a hundred. Slow down, though. Like, God damn, you tripping. Y'all niggas be thinking what y'all did. Welcome to the welcome to the mind of a single man. <laughs> That's what niggas be doing, bro. I'm not saying I do that though. I really don't like. One thing about me, I don't. I'm, I really don't be pressed for a lot of shit. Like I move, so I, I, I move just not really giving a fuck about a lot of shit. But I ain't, I'm not gonna sit and act like if the right one don't DM me even some small shit, I'm not gonna act like I'm not gonna be like, oh, what's up? What's the word? Come on, bro. That's singular, people. That's cow. But it didn't work. While searching for my heart again, I did find one thing that got me through. That motherfucker Rod Wade, nigga, talk to Rod me. was her favorite artist. And outside of her, I found that I can relate to his pain in a lot of his songs. So, Jasmine, I thank you. Her name is Absolutely. not Jasmine, by the way, for you detective. Hey, bro, Chad, girls will put you on some motherfucking fire. And I'd be mad, I'd be like, damn, nigga, now I can't listen to this song, nigga. Hold on. What's this, uh? Chat. Girls put you on some shit. I'm telling you, bro, I was in the car with a chuddy. I was like, bro, what is these? I say, what's these? That motherfucker was hard, nigga. Girls will put you on some shit. I don't care about none of that. None of that. It's out there. Moral of this story. Niggas, I'm fucking with hood boogers, bro. Chill out, bro. Chill, chill. Bro, I love women from all backgrounds, all places. I love women from all places. Real shit. Heartbreaks hurt. Take the time needed to heal. Because the saying she goes, was on you. hurt people, hurt people. And although you may be hurting, looking for a way to banish the wound, make What's sure you're not the person hurting Jimmy, someone uh, wake else. Him up. Look, Rod, look, look, look. Eli, one thing was right, man. She was, she was good. Putting you on that ride wave, man.